Hello, lovely artists and art fans. Welcome to my very first coffee painting tutorial. Yeah, where I'm gonna show you how to make a coffee painting from scratch using the example of my last coffee painting, which I called Mother Earth. Okay, guys, let's get it done. So here you can see my working space on the table is the sketch already. Yeah, I drew it with pencil. I already put sticky tape around the edges of my painting so that they are going to be nice and not blurry. Next to the sketch you can see the brushes that I'm going to work with. Yeah, the medium brush is the one that I'm going to be using most, mostly for the big area. Yeah. The very big brush I'm just going to use in the very beginning for the background, for the first layer. And mostly I'm going to use a fine brush as we have a lot of details in the painting. I already prepared some coffee colors beforehand. So as you can see, I mix different amounts of coffee with some water. Yeah, with approximately the same amount of water. This way I get different colors. Yeah, just mix the coffee and stir well. Here you can see the different colors. And before you get started, I recommend you that you try all the different shades of brown that you created with the different coffee mixtures. I personally found um, I need a darker nuance as well, so I just mix some coffee on a plate with a little bit of water. Yeah, this is another option to create darker shades. So as you can see, I am starting to color the background. I am using the big brush and I'm applying the lightest shade of brown. So gradually applying the first layer. Use a lot of water and don't worry if the color blurs over the pencil lines. Try to leave some white highlights on Mother Earth's cheek, her neck rings and her arm. As I don't want the background or the continents look too homogenic, I add a few colorful spots here and there. Coffee painting is all about layering. So time to let our first layer dry. So once the painting has dried, we can continue. You can see I'm using the medium brush now and I'm also using medium color and I'm trying to add some structures to the continents. As you can see, I am moving around here a little bit, doing some stuff here and there. You can just do it in the order that fits best for you. Next. I start coloring the ocean area. I'm using the medium brush and the darkest shade of brown. However, when it comes to all the fine lines and details, I would definitely recommend you to switch to the fine brush. Yeah, you can see I just did the same. As you can see, I try to keep the brush very wet. Yeah, because I want the color to get a little bit blurry. Yeah, and in particular, at the edges, the coffee leaves really nice brown lines once it dried. Yeah, and that gives it a really nice, almost antique look to it, as I find. And of course, to create this tutorial video, I speeded up my painting process here a lot. Yeah. So I want you to take your time though. Yes, I don't want you to rush. Whenever you have the feeling you have to catch up with me, just pause the tutorial and take your time. So you can see that I'm basically adding more and more um, color to the hair, yeah, to the ocean and to the body and face of our Mother Earth. After finishing the details in the face for now, yeah, I'm doing the rings as well and then we're done with this round yeah, and you can see this is our second layout. So far so good. Okay and once it's dry again we can continue. Yeah, We are adding more colors now to Mother Earth's body. Yeah, Here the shoulder area, the arm and also the chest yeah we leave a little lighter area for the collarbone yeah and now I'm taking the very dark nuance of brown that I made on my plate 
Yeah, and I'm going over the ocean once more because I still want it to be darker. And by now you may have gotten a pretty good impression of how many different amazing shades of brown you can create from coffee. And as I said before, the secret to reaching these different shades of brown is layering. By the way, I just wanted to mention real quick here that I am definitely not a coffee painting pro. Yeah, I have been drawing for half of my life, but I just started with coffee painting recently. And just because I like sharing my knowledge and my experiences, I created this video tutorial for you as a guideline in case you want to try it too. Now if you want to have some really, really, really dark shade of brown for some details, yeah, uh, you can see I'm trying to create some really dark lines here, yeah. You just take some coffee from the edge of your mixture, yeah, on this plate you can see where there's almost no water. It's important that for the very fine lines that you want to create and for very dark lines that you don't put too much water on the brush so that your fine lines are going to cover well and are not going to be blurry. And again we got to let our painting dry. You can see we already got some good brown shades here and a good contrast now. Time to continue painting. Yeah, The painting is dry and now I want to go over the continents again. I have the small brush now yeah, so I can um, draw all the details in particular at the edges without problems and I am using the light shade of brown again. Yeah, I'm trying to add some more structure and details to our continents. And again, if you use a lot of water, you're gonna make the colors blurry and you're gonna get some nice border lines in the end, yeah, which looks really neat with the coffee. And as I mentioned before, with coffee painting, if you wanna reach real darkness, yeah, real dark shades, you have to go over the same area again and again. Yeah, so that's why I'm doing the upper body of Mother Earth once more. Now I'm doing the rings again. Yeah, and I'm adding some more color here and in the middle section I leave some highlights. Yeah, I leave it completely white. Yes, I'm adding a line here too that represents some shadows, yeah, to make it look more real. And you can see one more time I'm going over the face here, yeah, to get the basic color darker. Yeah, you can see I left this white highlight as well. I'm Working on that a little bit more, get it into the right shape. Yeah, I'm trying to get more or less a final face color now. Yeah, so we're adding more and more darker shades here. Yeah, we're walking around this highlight section that we kept adding color to the nose, to the eye area, to the lips. For this area I would definitely recommend you to use the fine brush yeah, if you're not using it already anyway and also for these details here that I'm adding to the rings yeah this is much easier with the fine brush and once more we're adding another dark shade to Mother Earth's upper body to the back and also to the chest area. Yeah, I'm adding some details here as well. Yeah, you can see I'm jumping again a little bit. Yeah, 
It may look a little bit uncoordinated, but that's just the way I'm working. Yeah, that is different for everyone. You do it in the order that is best for you. I think the finer details here to the face, yeah, the eyelashes, the um, lips. As you can see, I am doing a little bit of this, a little bit of that now. Yeah, what still has to be done in my opinion. This is this almost final state of this painting now. Yeah, so you just gotta look at your own painting and ask yourself what you still gotta improve. And now you can see I started to go over the outline with a brush as well with a dark color. Yeah, because I don't want the pencil to be seen too much. One last time, we gotta let it dry before we're gonna uh, make our final little improvements. Yeah, this is almost done already. Yeah, you can see I want the ocean to be darker. So once more, I'm going over the whole ocean area with the dark brown to um, make the contrast even bigger with the background and the continent. What I have tried from the beginning on is to not create a very evenly colored um, surface here, but I always want to have different shadows and nuances. Yeah, that's why I'm going over the ocean once more now. I'm in the face area now, I'm at the chest, yeah, so everything has to be colored once more and then I have finally reached the darkness that I was aiming at. As I said before, you may be aiming at a different outcome, yeah, maybe you want this painting to look slightly different in your own style, yeah, so of course you're more than welcome to create your own variation of it and do it your way. This tutorial here is just supposed to be a guideline for you guys. Little details here and there, and now I'm almost done, a few little shadows. And in the very end, of course, don't forget to put your signature on your painting. Yay, done! So here we can see the final result. This is how my coffee painting, Mother Earth, turned out. And to finish with, we should have a look at the transformation of this artwork from the sketch to the final result. Yeah, here we can see once more all the different stages that the painting went through. Okay guys, that was it for today with our coffee painting tutorial of Mother Earth. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you really really like your painting that you created today. Please let me know in the comments how it went, if you have any questions and if you have any tips and recommendations for me. I'm looking forward to reading from you. Have a good day. Bye bye.